Welcome to Steph's Tutorials. I am Steph the Video Guy and we are going to be making a animated logo in Sony Vegas. We're also going to be using Photoshop. Um, you can use either Photoshop or Photoshop uh, CS2, CS3. Actually any Photoshop will do exactly as we're doing. Now to animate a logo, I'm going to choose a logo that is quite familiar to people. I'm going to choose this one right here. It's got a black background. It's just the JPEG, so it's got a black background and a white logo portion. So out of Vegas, I'm going to go into, there it is right there. I'm going to right click, open with Adobe Photoshop. Like I said, we're using Photoshop and uh, I wouldn't do this if Photoshop uh, didn't have a free version, uh, which they do now, which is great. All right, so uh, select Magic Wand Tool. Now I'm going to select the white, actually. Sometimes I'll select the black or whichever section. So I'm going to select the white. It's set to 40 tolerance, contig non-contiguous. So, and then I'm going to go select Modify, Contract. I'm just going to contract by one pixel just so I don't get any of that black on the outside there. I'll hit Control C and then Control V and that'll put a, a layer down. Oh, now you see there's, there's white. When I shide that background, you can see it's all white. So, um, because of the way that it looked, I'm going to actually go Image Adjustments. I'm gonna invert this because I want this to be black. So one way of doing that. So I'm just going to file, save as, and then I'll go uh, DVD logo black.psd. Okay. Now let's go back over to Vegas and I've got file new and I'll do a 720 by 1280 and uh, that's a progressive which uh, is really good for this. I'm going to go over here, refresh this, Okay, there we go. There's our PSD right there. You see the one with the white background. Okay. I just need something in behind. Uh, the car through driving through the mountains. There we go. Now we can see that Vegas knew automatically that uh, there was nothing in behind here, that it was all alpha. Alpha just means that uh, it's, uh, there's no pixels, no visible pixels in behind. All right, so I'm just gonna crop this down. Oh, okay. Now we got some action in here, so I'm just gonna, yeah, there we go. I'll crop it, crop it down somewhere close like that. And we can see there's no animation on this graphic at all yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the track motion panel. I'm gonna move that over so that we get some real estate in here. Now track motion is pretty powerful, so uh, it probably needs its own its own tutorial. But let's look at 3D source alpha for now, because we want something that's 3D, and uh, you'll see why. We got the top, we got the side, we got the front. Uh, this is in perspective. Now Vegas does. I'll put a marker here so that way we clean things up. Vegas does things in 3D, uh, which is excellent but if not a little confusing now we've got a rotation for everything here so we're going to rotate this way and you see it animating in the preview screen as well as in track motion and let's rotate y now you can see it rotates right to left and that's the one we're going to be doing with this and Z, which is, makes it go around like that. I'm just going to hit zero and just get these back to where they, to where they belong. Okay, so now let's, let's just make sure that we're right at the very start of this track. So that way we're dealing with that keyframe. Right to the very beginning. Make sure we're right at the very top, top of that. We're at zero here. Now uh, we're looking here and we, we see that there's five seconds here. Now five seconds, I'm gonna say that uh, at the end of five seconds, 
we're probably going to be around four revolutions. Let's see. Okay. I didn't actually do that right. So I'm going to go in. Now at five seconds, I select this, which is sync cursor. So it'll sync the cursor and then automatically make an animated one, two, three, four. That's right. Oh, only oh, you see it's already doing it. All right. Now let's just say that's the way it's going to be. So I'll go like this. Let's go it. It fades in, does its thing, fades out. Now, the way that the track motion does it is that if we move it, if say for instance I wanted to, I took this and basically I'm using the pan crop tool to move it over because I wanted to move it over. Now, you notice that I'm moving it in that perspective. Uh, that's not going to work because we basically just want to move it over to the corner, right? So that's not going to work. So how do we do it without rendering it out? Uh, well, let's get rid of the background for now. Oh, oh just wait. Let's not get rid of the background until... I just want to make sure that when this spins, it doesn't get cut off. Does it get, if it gets cut off at the top or the bottom, bad things happen. So. Let's just go like that. We'll put that in later. So there we go. So it's spinning. But what we want to do to get this to be so that it's smaller, it's over to the corner, um, is to use the nesting option in Vegas 11 or 12. So let's delete that back piece. Let's save this file. Let's go save as logo one. Hit save. All right. So we can't see it because the background is black, but that's spinning right in the center. It's not being cut off, uh, but it's spinning right in the middle. Now let's go up and let's go new file. We'll do another 720 progressive. Hit OK. Refresh this and drop that and nest that veg file directly in here. All right, when well, we can't see the background, I'm going to grab that car again. All right, I'll hit U and then delete that sound file. And there we go. Let's say, yeah, just a little bit of cropping. There we go. All right, now, it's doing exactly what it was doing in the other file. It's a little crunchy on the render, on the pre-render, but it's doing it. But what I want to do now is the way that this works is because this is a nested, it says logo one, logo one dot veg, it behaves just like footage because of the properties. So if we look at it, it'll look just like footage. So it's got a nested alpha, and you don't have to do it in here. So it's looking just like footage. So what I want to do, I want to use the pan crop tool. I'm just moving back out like this. I'm going to move this right here. As you can see, now, all right. I'm going to go Shift B, which uh, will render out a little uh, RAM preview, so that way we know what we're looking at. There we go. And if that's fast enough, it'll give you a good impression whether or not it's too fast or whether it's slow enough. If it is, what you want to do is you can actually go in and edit Logo 1 right within Vegas. Oh, now it's going to open up Vegas 12. So that's fine. I've got 11 and 12 open right now. Uh, it's actually not fine. If I, act, if I use 
12, I won't be able to use it in 11. Unfortunately, that's the trick with them. So what I'll do is I'll just make sure I save this. Go save as, and I'll go logo one B. Go hit save. I'm, I'm gonna go logo one dot veg. There we go. And in this, what I'll do is I'm going to go into track motion again. I track motion is just hidden right in behind here. We'll go into track motion and go to my second keyframe. Make sure it's all selected there. And I'm gonna go down to 720. Now let's see. Good. Oh, media generator, or solid color, just to see what we've got. Ah, there we go. Ah, yes. So a little bit less of a spin because I turned it down to 720, which is just three revolutions or two re revolutions all the way around. Ah, that looks pretty good. And we've got 720, and, uh, and then we're not spinning way too wildly. And the other project can hit, hit save. I'll go over to, you can actually keep these open um, at the same time if you want them. So I, I just didn't do that for this. All right, now what we'll see is none of the uh, pre-renders are set up. So I'm gonna hit Shift B. Now here's the RAM render, which will give us a good idea of what we're looking at here. And voila, that's what we've got. Now I can move that anywhere I want to. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. Move that to the center. Say you want that as your company's logo. I'll match output aspect, restore. It could be full size. Of course, if you wanted it right in the center, you wouldn't have to do the nested, the nested thing. So, but there you go. So now we've got an animation of our logo put anywhere we want up in the corner if we want to identify our business right up in the corner or anywhere else there we go thank you very much for checking out this animation I'm Steph the video guy uh, feel free to uh, leave some comments down in the doobly-doo or um, ask for a different tutorial about something else. I'm into uh, making any sort of tutorials that you'd like. Thank you very much for checking in.